Hi, this is Ethan with Tailtails Fly Shop. Today I'm going to show you one simple technique that you can use to catch more fish when you're out on the water. Alright, so this is the simple trick. We've been taking dry droppers all through this little small stream you can probably hear going in the background. Today it's really high water, so what we've been doing is we've brought along a little pack of fluorescent beads. These are tungsten, or we have a couple of brass beads on there as well. And on the dropper fly, we're fishing a dry dropper. Before we tie on that nymph, we're actually sliding one of these small beads up the tippet and then tying our nymph on. It's a really basic technique. Guys have been doing this for a long time with streamers and tube flies. And basically it's a way to take one fly and customize it or uh, fine tune it to whatever environment that you're in. Now, you could always just bring a can of split shot and tie or pinch that on before the fly. Obviously that's going to work as well. So the main benefit that I see in this is that it is a little bit easier than crimping and uncrimping split shot, though some people get pretty good at that in time. But two, this actually adds a little fluorescent dash for that fish to see in these environments, which is, can be really helpful, especially on streams like this where you've got these really deep plunge pools. Adding a little bit of you know, orange or pink or chartreuse, I think is really helpful. You can do this on any fly. So if you're a fly tire, especially one that's getting into it, this is a great technique to do because rather than being at the bench tying six different flies to get you six different weights, what you can do is tie one pattern with one weight. And then when you're out on the stream, add whatever weight you want with the bead in front of it. This isn't prime for every place, of course, and if you're not very good at tying knots, that's something that you probably won't like to do this because it requires you to cut, untie, and then tie the knot back on again. So I wouldn't try this a ton if you're not comfortable tying knots, but just keep practicing because it can really help you. Today it's, it's helped us catch quite a few nice fish. Um, we've been using the, the chartreuse as well as the orange just to try two different things which is one of the cool things in terms of storing this because that can be a pain a uh, hairline did just come out with those little feet of bead it's like a little spring essentially you can just slide the beads on that and then obviously i put it in a plastic bag that's what i used to do um, so it's a really basic technique it does help you it's something that you probably already have at your house and you can just throw it in your pack and see if this works for you so Hope that helps you catch more fish on the water. Have a good day.